Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it is a template for business cards. And he has a laser and a UV printer that he's going to laser out a template and then use a UV printer to print business cards, which I know nothing about. Now, he does have re-indexing lines for the future, so he makes sure his, maybe his printer even uh, can set up like that. So he asked me one question I really can't answer because he asked how big a space do I need around the card? I don't understand why you're using a little radius, I think a square, because the cards, unless the cards have a round radius, I would still maybe make them square and then maybe easier to get out of. Uh, I have no clue how much bigger to make the business card um, slot so you can get the cards in and out. There's a couple way, couple ideas I have on that. Uh, for right now, I'm going to take away your indexing lines and just, uh, that is a great idea. But he asked, so I'm going to ungroup all these cards. One of the questions he asked was, how do you make these cards easily spaced 10 millimeters apart, which they are, I've already checked. So I'm gonna control D and I'm gonna make a duplicate of these guys and move them out of the way and I'm gonna delete all but one card. And then you're gonna use edit and step and repeat. And there's three settings on there. It's horizontal, no, no offset or offset of the space between units. We want 10 millimeters. We want nothing on here, no offset. And he's got six, so we need five copies. And we're gonna hit apply. You have to check on something. So now you've got these things and they are 10 millimeters apart. Exactly. So that was easy set up. And as you can see, it's 10 millimeters. Kind of hard to read, the arrows are backwards in such a small space. But then to get the other cards, we will take away no offset, space between units, 10 millimeters, and we're seven, so we want six, and hit apply. Now you've got your cards. Now, his, my suggestion, he said he doesn't want to use wood because it'll warp. Well, if you made two layers, one with MDF, and first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group these together, control G, and I'm gonna hit P and put them in the center of the page. And if you made a sheet of MDF, quarter inch MDF, and MDF does warp a little bit, but it, if you did this, and then take your second sheet, apply, we got a leak somewhere. Well, I don't have a box around it. And so we'll draw a box around the page. Um, I can't remember there's a way to draw a box around the page, but I'm just gonna draw a box real quick, size of the page. And then if you fill this in, this is what your plywood would look like. And if you lightly glue this to your MDF, the plywood's not gonna warp because it's you've cut away the warpage ability. You've just got strips. And if you kept it flat and everything, it shouldn't warp. And even if it did, you could figure out something. But to glue those two pieces identically of, together, I would what I call indexing dowels and find the smallest dowel you can get. Um, and just place two dowels on this board, one there and one, and also you're drawing in something other than a hairline, so you'd have to change. And then set another one over here. And when you glue these two together, if you stick those dowels in there, just little short pieces of dowel, it'll help you index that board where your corners are still square and it'll help you a lot. The only other thing I could suggest, let's ungroup these, because I there's no way I can answer uh, what, you know, what the space should be. But what you could do, you have a little bit more room on the side. You could take a, control this with a, half or 10 millimeter circle. I'm gonna lock your ratio so that doesn't happen again. 10 millimeter circle. 
that doesn't look very big. And you, you can actually have it snap to the midpoint. And we're going to need to change that. I'm going to go ahead and change your, well, I'm not going to. Change this to a hairline. We can keep it black for right now. And remember, this is 10 millimeters, right? So it's changed our scenario. And I'm going to take the virtual segment leaky and then take this smart field tool and fill that in. And what that did, that basically welded. And I know some people are going to, well, why didn't you just weld it? Well, I'm so used to doing it this way. It just comes in handy. So now we can do this offset. This is going to help you get your thumbnail or a knife in the, and this is only a suggestion. Doesn't have to be round, it could be square. But now you've changed your, you've got to think about your, uh, this, when you set up your uh, board, no offset and space between units. But now we only need five millimeters because now we got 10 millimeters between there. And let's just test that out. See, we still have the 10 millimeters, and I think that's what his printer. Okay, I made too many copies because um, I was going down. And then you can do the same thing going down. Let's put no offset, space between. And now you have your board, and I think you still have room uh, for your dials because then we could select this, group it, hit P, and you'd still have room for a couple of dowels. And you could put them anywhere on the board. You could put them like right there. Uh, they're just indexing so you can uh, do that. Now, the other question he had was how to resize these if he's gonna do another board. <clears throat> this wouldn't be worth it. It's so easy to set this up and with the the step and repeat. But there is a way to do it, and I thought I'd just show you. Uh, inside of eCuts, there is a deal called size, and Corel cannot do this that I know of, set size, and let's just back up here. Our size of our unit is 87 by 55. Let's say, we, and I played around with this a while ago to make sure I knew where it was in eCuts. Let's say we wanted to make them 89 by 60. Well, if you select them all, and in just one stroke, update the size, now each one of these is 89 by 60. But an E-cut is a very popular problem-solving um, macro, and I'll love it. But for doing this, well, for different size cards, it'd be easier just to start over. Anyway, I hope that answers his three questions, and thank you for watching.